Hi everyone, this morning my parents brought us a delicious breakfast and we decided to eat it while watching cartoons. Yeah, maybe you mean ours. They brought us a mega delicious cake and while we ate breakfast they decided to watch a cool sailor cartoon. This cartoon is awesome. I really like this cartoon too. The sea looks so cool. It would be cool to ride on a ship at sea. I'd like to ride on a boat and live on it. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it would be fun, but yachts are very expensive. But not for our parents. They can afford it. And our parents are really incredibly rich. Hey kids, I hear we're incredibly rich. Have we gotten any richer? We weren't talking about boats and how expensive they are. Boats are cool. They're super cool. But you gotta get ready for school. But mom, look how cool that boat looks. You've got homework today. Oh yeah, right. Well, we already packed our backpacks for school. It's really good that you're so independent. We just have to pick them up. Well then, let's go. Okay. Time to hurry up. You might be late and then we'll be summoned. Yeah, we'll hurry up. I don't want to listen to your annoying teacher. Well, we got everything, so I think we're ready. I'm sorry, but you'll be walking to school today. Okay, I don't think that's a problem. We have a lot to do. All right, we're on our way. I hope you're ready, Mikey, because I got everything. I'm absolutely ready. All right, kids, good luck and goodbye. Good luck and bye. Good luck and all the best to you, too. Yeah, have a nice day and goodbye. We'll try to get good grades. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. Oh, God, they love to smother us with goodbyes like we're leaving forever. Well, they're worried about us and they're trying to take care of us, so it's understandable. More like... Hmm. What happened, darling? JJ left his pie. Listen, what? why don't we buy a boat and go away for a week? Wow, that sounds interesting. Relax, unwind. It's good for us. I yeah, that sounds cool. We could rent a boat. I think it'd be really cool. I'll have to look into it. I know someone at work who can sell us a nice boat at a good price, so it won't even cost a huge amount of money and the boat will be amazing. So I'm going to go to work right now and check with him about buying a boat. Goodbye. Three hours later. I almost fell asleep in this boring history class. Me too. Who needs it? I don't know. I don't want to know what happened. Yeah, me too. I want to look into the future and know what will happen next. Wow, that sounds cool. It's so stupid to study what happened 100 years ago. What? Wow, like and subscribe. Smart idea. Hey, remember if you subscribe and like you'll speed up the release of Mikey and I's new adventures. Yes, it will help us. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I always do. It always makes us happier. Our parents aren't here yet. They said they'd pick us up? They said they'd be here when school's out. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's ours. Dad's cool car. He's got such a fancy car. Yeah. I hope when we grow up, he buys us one. We're finally here. Hey, kids, come here quick. We have a cool surprise for you. Oh, my God, another what? cool surprise. Another? Never mind. All right, let's go to our parents. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, well, we'll see what the surprise is this time. Hey, Mom, Dad. Hi, JJ. Hi, JJ. I didn't know you were picking us up from school. Yeah, we only told Mikey we forgot to tell you. Well, yeah. So, what's the surprise? We won't tell. It's a big, cool secret. Whoa! Yeah, it's a very cool secret surprise. Okay, secret, secret. Don't worry, we'll go get him right away. Yay, I love cool surprises. I hope it's something cool this time. Don't worry, it's a very cool surprise. I'm sure it will be. I will. I can't wait. I'm glad you can't wait. Can we go get the surprise now? Yeah, I can't wait either. Cool, let's go. They're so intrigued. Yeah, I'm interested in that too. I hope it's something mega cool. Well, we'll know soon. So long. Uh-huh, it's a long drive. Here we go. We're almost there, and you're about to see your mega cool super secret surprise we have for you today. Yeah, we've been driving forever. It wouldn't take so long if it weren't for the traffic. Wow, where are we? I don't know. I haven't been here. I've never been here before. Me too. I don't know this place either. I haven't been watched the road, but I think we're on the beach or something. Okay, kids, we're here. It's time for you to see our cool mega super surprise. Come and see it. We're finally gonna find out what this mega cool secret surprise is. Yeah, let's go. I'm getting tired of waiting for it. Whoa, wait. It's a yacht. That's a real yacht? Uh-huh. A huge cool yacht. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, can we ride it? Of course, we decided to go sailing on a cool yacht for a couple days. Wow, let's go faster. Yeah, I'm coming. I want to see what it looks like inside. The outside looks fantastic. I've never been in a yacht. Me too. I've only seen it on TV. Well, now you can see it with your own eyes. Yeah, that's cool. Enjoy it. We will be. There's lots of stuff, swimming pool, food fridge, and so on. Let's go inside. Yeah. Wow, there's tons of stuff here. I love this boat. Yeah, I love it too. It looks so awesome and it's so huge. Go downstairs to the common room. Okay, we're coming down. Wow, there's so much room. It's cool. There's a lot here. And the main thing is you have your own room where you can play your own games. Wow, we even have our own toy room. Come and see it. Come on, you're gonna love it. Okay, come on. We'll see what's in there. So, what's here? Wow, there's a nice TV. Cool windows. There's plenty to keep you entertained while we sail the high seas. Yes, thank you very much. So, enjoy your room. You can play on the computer. I thought I'd take a nap. I'm so tired. Enjoy your room as much as
as you like. When we get here, we'll call you. All right, Mikey, you want to play computer? Wow, thank you. No, you shouldn't. I'd love to play while we sail the high seas. I'll just watch. You can watch cartoons. Yeah, that's a cool idea, but I'll probably just watch you play something. Okay, that's interesting, too. What are you going to play? I'm going to play Path of Exile. It's a cool game. Yeah, I think so, too. I like this game, too. Moments later. Wow, it's so hot, man. I love running on the boat. I, too, get a nice sea breeze in here. It's so much fun jumping on the waves and bouncing a few meters up when the boat sits under the waves. It's really cool. Yeah, and playing with our toys. There were so many toys. They must have been bought with the boat. It's mega cool. I love this boat so much. I'm glad our parents bought it. Yeah, I really like this boat, too. It's super cool. You can live on it for a long time. Hey, what's that? What are you talking about? Oh, wow, it's a huge wave. It's coming at us. We got to get inside the boat. But where are our parents? Oh, no, they swim. Oh, no, we have to do something, Mikey. We're about to get hit by a wave. It's already upon us. What already? Oh, no. Oh, my God, that was the biggest wave I've ever seen. I hope everyone on the boat is safe. Oh, Mikey, are you okay? Looks like he's lying unconscious. JJ, we're drowning. Help us. Oh, my God. Mom, Dad, what are you doing in there? Ah, that's a stupid question, JJ. Mikey, wake up. We have to save our parents. Are they drowning? Oh, my God, we have to do something. Mikey, we have to throw them a lifeline. We don't have one. We need to jump in the water with them. Can you get them out? Ah, I'm going to drown. Do something. Ah. Ah! I'm gonna drown! Ah! Don't drown yet! Mikey and I have to figure something out. Wait a minute! I have no strength! I'm tired! Bull, 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 ah! bull, 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 bull. Help! Somebody! Ah! Oh my god! Mom! Dad! Don't go underwater! I'll go save them! Mikey! No! I'll do it myself! Stop! Boo, 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 boo. Oh my god! Mikey! I'm gonna... Oh, JJ, where are you? Save me. Oh, my God, my parents are long gone, too. Ah, oh, my God, no. JJ, you can't swim. Mikey, we both can't swim. Why did we jump in the water, too? I don't know. I just wanted to save our parents. You're so stupid, Mikey. We're all going to drown. Ha, ha, ha. No need to worry. An angel is on his way to save people's lives. What's going on here? A couple of boys decided to go for a dive, but they forgot how to swim. How silly is that? Help, somebody, we can't swim. Ha, ha, ha. I was created to help poor people like you. I was created by God himself. I came from paradise to save people before they die. I'm going to drown. Ah, I'm running out of strength to swing my arms in the water. I'm very tired, too. And who is this? I am the angel who came to save your lives. Oh my God, we were beginning to see hallucinations. Come here, children of God, to the raft for all the alive in this sea. Whoa, it's perfect timing. We were saved by some strange magical woman. It's not some weird magic. This is the power of God deciding to save you. I've come straight from heaven to you. From heaven? Uh, but I don't see anything up there. Why didn't you save our parents? Uh, what's wrong with them? Our yacht was hit by a huge sea wave. This caused our parents to fall into the sea and drown. If you're from heaven, save them too. <laughs> oh, that's very sad. But I can't save them already. Why can't you do it? So we'll never see our parents again. Oh my God, that's terrible. Please forgive me. I was only supposed to save you, not your parents. So God doesn't care about our parents. And where will we live if our parents drowned? I have my own little house in heaven, but I don't think you want to go there. We have nowhere else to live. We agree. Oh, I'm glad I can help you again. That's cool, but we can't fly. How are we going to get to your house? It's very simple. Hold on. I'll get you there with my godlike magic. Let's go. Wow, what's going on? Everything's glowing and sparkling. Oh my god, these glitters got in my mouth. Where are we? We were supposed to be brought to the angel's house. There it is. He's so bright, but where is Angle herself? I don't know, but this house is soaring high in the sky. That's that's why we couldn't see it from the sea. Cool. All right, Mikey. Do you agree to live here somewhere far away in heaven? I don't know. Maybe the house isn't cool at all. Oh, I'm home. Finally, this workday has come to an end. Where are those kids? Oh, there you are. Hi there. How do you like being in heaven? This place is great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Come on, I'll give you a tour of my paradise home. Oh, yes. All people dream of living in paradise. So do we. You only go to heaven when you die. You're lucky I was there in time to save you. Thank you, by the way. Let's get in the house already. Our parents must be somewhere on the neighboring clouds, too. They have to be. They're going to heaven, not some stinking hell. 
people. And why do angels dress so frilly? Because it's too hot in here. That's why we dress like this. That angel is a hot chick in her own right. Oh, Mikey, words like that are forbidden here. Wow, it's pretty nice and cozy. It feels like we've been here before. No, God himself built this house for me. He's so good. Yeah, everybody knows that. Come on, give us a tour of the house already. Okay, I'll start in the kitchen. This is where I make the most delicious meals in the world because it's heavenly food. Okay, what? Is SpongeBob on TV? Does heaven have cartoons too? It's paradise. It's got all the cool stuff. This is my room where I sleep and relax after my work. So angels sometimes sleep and rest? And who protects the people during that time? People don't need to be protected when they're asleep either. Come on, I'll show you your nursery. Are we gonna have our own nursery? Yeah, Mikey. All kids need their own room and lots of toys. You're right. Heaven should have more toys than the ordinary world. This is where you will sleep and relax. I'm hoping it's got our personal TV and separate beds. We even have these things at our house. In heaven, every child has one. It's so much cooler than our old house. God made you the best and coziest room in the world. Only God did all of this. So God's a really cool dude. But the beds he could have made bigger. I really like it here. There's a lot of games to play here. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay at my house. It's fun, but it feels like there's something missing. Some little detail. It's all in there, JJ. There's a separate crib for JJ right there. Just his favorite color. Oh yeah, I really like that. And here's that little detail JJ was talking about. Powerful gaming computer with all the games in the world. What? All the games in the world are here? Whoa! We can play computer games forever! I don't mind playing on that computer myself sometimes, but I have too much work to play games. Lots of toys, endless computer games, cool room. It's really paradise. Okay, I'm going back to work. Angel, but you didn't show us the main room in the house. Um, I thought I showed you everything. No, you're forgetting something. Where are we gonna poop? Oh yeah, you people need to use the restroom. Let me show you one. Oh yeah, I wonder where our poop goes if the house is floating in the sky. That's a very interesting question. Maybe they disappear in a magic portal. Haha, -ha. a portal? It's too complicated. Go inside and you'll find out. Uh, all right. This looks like an ordinary toilet. There's nothing magical about it. To start pooping, open the lid in the field. I gotta go to work. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't spy on us. This has to be the best paradise toilet in the world. Um, this doesn't look like heaven's toilet. It's just a hole in the floor. She wants us to poop in that hole. Oh my god. What if we fall in this toilet when we poop? I think if you poop carefully, it can be avoided. Imagine our poop falling on somebody's head. Ha ha ha! This is ridiculous! What if I want to pee here? So it's gonna rain your piss on the earth. Oh, that's awful, but funny at the same time. Poor people of the earth! Seven months later. Mikey and I are going to go play soccer on the playground today. All right, Mikey. You ready to play? Of course I am! Look at that ball! Let's start playing already! With such a great ball, you can become a pro soccer player. Get in there, JJ! We'll kick the ball to each other. That's great. Let's see how professional you are. Are you doubting me? I'm going to kick you so hard you'll never catch it. Or should I take pity on you and hit you less hard? Kick it already. You talk too much for a professional. Catch, JJ. The ball's coming your way. And that's what you call a punch? Now you catch. How'd you like my shot? Well, you could have hit it better. Now I'm going to hit harder. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mikey. I thought you were better than that. You hit like a girl yourself. But you make fun of me. Let's not fight. Let's just play soccer. I was just trying to spice up our game. But okay, let's just play. Watch me hit the ball. Wow, he's jumping. Nice, JJ, nice shot. I want to try to hit as well as you. Where are you, kids? I'm coming to you. Oh, looks like we won't be playing anymore. There you are. Come here, stop kicking the ball. What's wrong, Dad? Now I'm going to show you my little surprise. Come inside, you'll be glad you did. Whoa, what's in there, Dad? Could this be a new computer? Or a new scooter? Let's go inside and find out. You'll never guess. Okay, Dad, we'll be right there. So, Mikey, what do you think Daddy has planned for us? What do you have in mind? Let's go quickly and find out. But I think it's a new scooter for us. We've been asking for one for a long time. Maybe it is a computer after all. We told Dad about it a long time ago. Longer than the scooter. Well, then let's go find out. I'd be happy with either of those two things. Me too. Then open the doors and let's go find out. Here come the parents. They sure bought us something. Come on, JJ. I want to know soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. We're here. Hey, guys. We've prepared an interesting surprise for you. We're sure you'll love it. It's very unusual. Usual. Well, what is it? Just say it. It's a ticket to a big trip. You'll be traveling together for the whole summer. You'll have fun. What about a scooter or a computer? We thought you were talking about that surprise. Aren't you guys excited about our surprise? Isn't that a bad gift? No, Mom, it's okay. We love it. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. We are excited to go on a big trip. That's good. 
We knew you would appreciate it. I told you traveling was great. A computer would have been better, though. Come on, then. Go pack your bags and you'll be traveling today. Be sure to let me know later if you liked it. Well, shall we go pack? Yes, you have a flight coming up. Then we'll go to our room. We need to figure out what we're going to take with us. That's right. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Good luck to you. Even though it's not what we wanted, it should be a lot of fun, too. That's what I thought, too. We'll get more emotion out of it than a scooter or a computer. Will we be bringing toys, Mikey? There's too many of them, but I think we can take a couple. The main thing is to choose what things to take with you. We have a lot of them, so you only need to take everything you need. It's true. I don't think we have enough room to bring toys with so much stuff, too. Hurry up and get your stuff, or we're gonna miss our plane. Yeah, we gotta get ready. Otherwise, we'll be left without any surprise at all. Three hours later. And here we are on our way to our plane. Yeah, that's our plane over there. They decided to give us a ride there in this little bus. There's nothing else to do. Let's go say goodbye to our parents. Come on, they're probably out there waiting for us. And there they are standing over there. Hey, Mikey, JJ, come here. The plane's leaving soon. All right, Mikey, let's get to traveling. It's about time we did this, JJ. I've been dreaming of a vacation for a long time, you know. You're finally here. It took you so long to get here. We just wanted to ride the bus. And we're going to fly in this wreck? I don't feel like going in there anymore. We paid money for your trip. But we didn't want to go to that place. Bye, kids. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Don't come back. Bye, Mom, Dad. We'll miss you. Who are you lying to? You never miss anyone. That's just to be polite, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. Let's get to our seats on the plane. I don't think this wreck will fly all the way. We'll hope for the best, Mikey. I just wish they served hot burgers for lunch on the airplane. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Hello, passengers. Welcome aboard the Godspeed. Uh, that's a strange name for an airplane? Whatever the airplane. Whatever the name. Stop whining. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the plane survives the flight. Come on, I'll show you your passenger seats. Oh my god, there are so many people here. Here are your plastic chairs. Please sit down. Aren't airplanes supposed to have normal seats? No, of course not. You bought too cheap a ticket in economy class. Why aren't we flying premium class? Be thankful we're sitting and not standing on an airplane. But there are televisions here. We can watch Star Wars here. Ladies and gentlemen, please buckle up. Wow, we're taking off in the air already. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too, but if we fall, it'll be while watching a cool movie. I'll have a better view outside my window. Okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna get some sleep. You know, I was supposed to have the day off today. Buddy, but you're already at work. I don't care at all. I'm gonna break something and fly back home. No, don't do it. Too late. I don't care about anything. It's my legal weekend. I'm gonna parachute home. You're a complete idiot. Everyone's gonna crash on that plane. Oh my god, what's going on? Our plane's going down, JJ. What makes you say that? Everyone around here is calm. Oh my god, our engine's on fire. Oh god, I don't want to end my life like this. We're all gonna fall. Pay attention. Nobody panic. We still have another engine. It's okay. I'm asking everyone to stay where they are. We're gonna fix that engine soon. I repeat. Do not panic. I'm already panicking. JJ, what do we do? I don't want to die. Do something. You're the older brother. What am I supposed to do? Should I go fix the engine? Are you crazy? We're going down, JJ. Fix the engine faster. How am I going to fix it for you? Oh, my God. My butt hurts so bad. Good thing I landed right on top of it. Okay, where did I land? Some weird beach? Some weird water? Mikey's still out. He's a big sleeper. Wake up now, Mikey. Get up. We survived. Mikey, I need you. Rise and shine, Mikey. Uh, what? Who called me? I called you. We're on some kind of island. I noticed that, but it's not that kind of island. It's too hot in here for some reason. I think I know why it's warm in here. And why is that? Because it's not water, JJ. What's that then? This is lava, not water. We're on an island island around a lava ocean. Oh my god, you're right. How are we supposed to get out of here? I don't know. If we swim in it, we'll be completely fried. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Just don't cry, please. Do I have to make you feel better again? Though you could dry up that ocean of lava with your tears. JJ, we're not alone on this island. What? Who's that? Men, we got boys on the island. That's so cool. Um, I don't like this. Me too, JJ. Let's get to know each other, gentlemen. Hello, my name is Mikey. My name is JJ. We fell out of an airplane. We need help. How beautiful they are. We'll help you. Don't doubt it. How cute and beautiful you both are. It's an island of women. Oh my God, we're out of luck. You're very lucky to have come to us. It's really bad. And it's not going anywhere yet. Don't worry about it. We'll let you into one of our cottages. We would 
do anything for such handsome boys. I love them both already. I would be their mommy forever. They're all out of their minds. I've already noticed that, JJ. Hee <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Let's go settle them on our island. Follow us, handsome boys. That's what my mom used to say to me. But these aren't our moms. Come on with us. You know, we could use it, though. Live here like kings. I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, don't be scared. What if they eat us? You've been watching horror movies on TV again, JJ. That's not what normal people do. Girls, where are we going to put these boys? Any house at all. Any home they want. Any house? Hmm, that's something to think about. I want to live in the best house on the island. Whatever you say, my little prince. Oh, and it's already nightfall. It's bedtime. We urgently need sleep after such a hard day. Well, then this is the right house for you. Come with us, my sweeties. Oh, how very hospitable of you. And why are you helping us? Because we haven't had men on the island in a long time. We're still kids. What kind of men are we? Very handsome men. You are very nice ladies, too. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good. We're lucky to have you. Please make yourself at home. That's cool. Now we have our own house. Good night, our favorite men. Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. All right, girls. Follow me. We've got a lot to do tonight. Good night, all of you. Thanks again for everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I'd sleep with you two, but we really have a lot to do. Good night, my darlings. See how lucky we are. We have them under our command. They'll carry food and scout us around the clock. Yeah, I agree. That's not a bad house they gave us. I guess our parents had a smaller house. It's not the presidential palace, but it'll do. Time to go to bed, JJ. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm so tired from today. Are you planning on leaving this island? No, of course not. It's cool. And there's our minions. It's also got comfy beds. Oh yeah, the beds here are great. I still don't trust them, Mikey. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? They're wonderful and beautiful girls. Okay, let's settle this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, JJ. Huh, he fell asleep so fast. He must be as tired as me. Not a bad day. Oh, what's that noise outside our house? Mikey didn't even move from those sounds. And then we'll sacrifice them, all for our gods of this island. Uh, what? I didn't hear that? Maybe those girls next to me are talking about something. I should check it out. Although, maybe it's some wild animals lurking behind our house. It's scary to come out here at night. We'll tie them up. What? They're definitely girls. They're right around the corner. They'll wake up in the morning and find themselves tied up right over the fire. Oh, for the god of this island. Then he'll give us more men. I can't wait to kill our guests right now. Be patient, my friend. The morning will soon come and we'll do our thing. Oh my god, are they trying to kill us? Why don't I stab them with my knife? What? They're all crazy. We should run away from here. Why do we have to wait until morning? We can kill them right now. No, for the ritual, it has to be done in the sunlight. We must wait. That's great. Mikey and I still have time to get off this island. I gotta wake him up first. That's just awful. They pretended to love us on purpose. Mikey, get up. We're in grave danger. They're trying to kill us. Get up. Stop sleeping. Mikey, it's time to get out of here. Wake up. This is no time to rest. Ouch, what happened? Why are you waking me up? Those sick women are trying to kill us. We've got to get off this island as fast as we can. Uh, why would they want to kill us? They like us. They love us. I don't know. They want to do some kind of ritual and then kill us as a sacrifice to some gods on this island. Oh my god. Then we've got to get out of here before they come after us. Where was the last place they were? They were over there behind the wall. We should get out of the house quietly and unnoticed. Okay, keep your eyes open, JJ. They could be waiting for us anywhere. I'm always on the lookout, Mikey. I think they've already gone to their cabins. Then we ran to the beach. Let's go. Escape from the island begins. I almost believe them. Oh my god. I like them so much. I really didn't want to go home. Who knew it was an island of maniacs? Uh, how do we get out of here? There's lava all around. I completely forgot about that. I don't know. We have to figure something out. Maybe build some kind of ship. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? We're gonna build a raft. And we'll get the planks from that palm tree over there, JJ. And on that raft, we're gonna get off this island. Won't this wooden raft burn up in the lava? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no other plan. Break the tree, JJ. There goes our mega salvage ship. This boat will take us home. Uh, it's a whole trough, Mikey. We're not gonna get very far on it. If you have another plan, it's too late. Passengers, I invite you all to our cruise ship. Yeah, a cruise ship. That's funny. Oh my god, JJ, those maniacs spotted us. Hey, stop right there. You're not getting off our island. We're not gonna let you do that. We've gotta stop them, girls. Wait for us. We need to talk to you. Don't swim away from us. Mikey, it's time to get off this island right now. Otherwise, they'll kill us both. Get on the raft. Hurry up. Stop.
stop, please. Come back here. You liked it here. We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. No one will ever come to visit you again, you stupid maniacs. Let's swim home, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. They're so stupid. We just outsmarted them so easily. You'll be back here again, you stupid men. Hee hee hee, dumb women. Men are always smarter than women. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Why do I live in such a horrible house? Why? Hmm, it's not a house, it's a barn. I have no money at all. And my job said they don't need me anymore. Oh, why is fate so cruel to me? I'm very hungry. Oh, no. But there's nothing in my fridge but green potatoes. Oh, hmm, I'm gonna go take out the trash. Maybe I'll find some food in the trash. Oh, what am I thinking? This poverty is driving me crazy. I'm not going to look for food in the garbage. I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna get a job and food. I can do it 100%. <gasps> Who are these beautiful girls? Oh, it's very noticeable. That's what I'm telling her. That purse is too cheap. Oh, so beautiful. I want to meet them. I'll say what the girls like. Goddesses, hey, you girls are beautiful. Can I meet you? That's what I'm telling Shh. you. Wait, some poor guy wants to meet us. Huh. Don't talk to us, Popper. He thinks a ragamuffin is worthy of our beauty. Wow. Funny. But I just wanted to meet you both. I want love too, even though I'm a pauper. Oh, I have to admit, I'm not going to get anywhere in this life. I should just accept the hopelessness of my situation and live out my last days in my barn. Today is just the most beautiful day. The sun is so hot, I want to go for a swim. Look over there. I'm so glad I have such an awesome pool for days like today. Yeah, oh my god. What could be better than a swim in the pool on a hot day like this? I don't think there's anything better than a swim in the pool today. What am I talking about? I live in such a great house. I should appreciate my life and enjoy every moment of it. Oh, what's that? Buy a yacht only today. Hmm for one million dollars. Wow, it's so cheap. I'm gonna buy this boat, it's a dime a dozen. I'm gonna take my friend Mikey on a road trip. I think he's gonna love hearing this from me. I'm wondering if he still lives in that poor neighborhood. I hope not, because I wish him well. It's time to take my favorite $150,000 car and go to Mikey's. Oh, I still can't get enough of this car. It looks very stylish, I love it. Anyway, I gotta get going. I still have to stop by to buy a boat and then go look for Mikey. Hmm, I still need to stop for groceries and also hire a crew for the yacht. And I also need to make an itinerary for our boat trip. Where should we go? How about the island? Oh my god, I've got so much to do. By the way, the bus we need should have gotten here a long time ago. Oh, what lovely ladies. Why don't I meet them? Oh, look over there. Wow, this car is incredibly expensive. What a cool car. Who's driving? Whoa, who's that guy? Whoa. Hmm, lovely ladies. Would you both like to ride in my cool car with me? Oh my god, you're still asking? I say yes. Of course we want to ride with you. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's go for a ride. What's your name? We're sisters. It's gonna be mega cool. Sorry to talk about it, but not this time. I'm in a hurry right now. What? Bye-bye. How so? Get back here. What a jerk, but so handsome. We remembered you. Huh, girls are so easy to fall for pretty things. Uh, does Mikey really still live in that old dilapidated house? Hmm, well, we should check to see who lives here. It'll be amazing if this is Mikey's house. Mikey, it's your friend JJ. Open the door, I'm here to visit. Hmm, oh! Hey! Mikey, what's up, buddy? Things are getting worse, JJ. Oh my god, what happened? Life is downhill, no food at all. Uh, come on in the house. Uh, okay. It's not really a house, it's my shed. Yes, your house is in a very dilapidated state. Yes. Why don't you have any money, Mikey? I've been fired from my job, it's a nightmare. I'm living out my last days here. Uh, Mikey, come on a road trip with me. Uh, traveling? Yeah, a yacht trip. Are you sure about that? I'm all set, but I'm missing the most important thing. You! Hmm, stay here to die, or go on a sea voyage with my best friend. Oh my god. JJ, let's go. Cool, my car's outside. Uh, JJ, can I drive your car? Hmm. I'll be careful, I promise you. Oh, of course you can drive my car. Holy turtle. It's gonna be a breeze, huh? Yay! It's been so long since I've driven a car. Oh! Thank you, JJ, for letting me drive your car. Oh, you're welcome. Let's hurry up. I'm so excited. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, JJ, that car looks very expensive. That's the way it is. I can't believe I'll be driving such an expensive car right now. Well, time is of the essence. Let's hit the road. <gasps> what are you so surprised about? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. What do you think of the interior of my car? One steering wheel here is worth more than my whole life. How much does it cost? Well, I bought it at a discount, just under $150,000. Stop! 
What? Oh, I can already feel the sea breeze. Mikey, look over there. There's our yacht. JJ, it's just an incredibly big boat. There's also a lot of food. Oh my god, will I be allowed to eat there? Yeah. JJ, how much money did you spend on this? A lot of money, Mikey. A lot of money. Wait, why? Well, uh, it's a lot of money to you. It's nothing to me. JJ, you are unbelievable. Uh, I'm jealous of you, but in a white way. That's good to hear. By the way, the yacht has swimming pools. Wow, I can already see one of the pools. Oh. Whoa, it's so beautiful here. I'm glad you like it here. <laughs> Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yay. The water is such a nice temperature. Nice. Wow, this pool is heated. Come on out. There's a lot more to see. Is there anything more interesting here than a swimming pool? Yes, of course. And this isn't the only pool here, so you'll have time to swim. Wow, is this man the captain of a ship? Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm the captain of this fine yacht. Hey. Since you're here, we can go sailing. Hmm. An unforgettable voyage to different islands awaits Ooh. you. The journey will be long enough to keep you entertained in the play cool. area. Cool. Sounds awesome. There is also your sleeping quarters. Nice. Enjoy the journey. Thank you. I want to see it all soon. Then let's go. Yes, you're right. Let's take a look at the playroom. I'm very interested. Wow, there's a pool table in here. Well, I was expecting a little more, but it's fun too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. Well, let's take a look at our sleeping quarters. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, it's pretty cozy in here. Oh, hmm. What do you think, Mikey? Well, it's much more comfortable here than at my house, huh? We've got a long way to go. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty tired. Let's rest here for a while. Yeah, and later we'll go to the pool. Two hours later. Hello again, everyone. Our boat is already on the high seas. Now Mikey and I decided to lounge in the pool. He's just lying there. Hello again, everyone. We're here relaxing like normal guys with money. Normal guys? You're on my money here on vacation, remember? Of course I remember. It's just a joke. Look how I dive. Wow, Mikey, you're so cool. Of course, I love swimming. Why can't we swim off the side of the boat? What's going on? There's some kind of explosion. Everybody off the ship. We got a breach in the deck. Save yourselves. Where's the hole? In the center of the deck. I won't give you your trip money back. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone. Save yourselves. Oh, God, Mikey, we are drowning. Our yacht is sinking. What do we do? Is our boat sinking? We have to save ourselves. There's a life raft on the boat. Did he say life raft? Yes. Then let's get to the dinghy before our boat breaks in half. This dinghy doesn't look very promising. JJ, that's something at least. Just why did the captain of the ship sail on his own if there are boats like this here? I don't know. Why did the captain jump off the ship first? He acted like a coward. Why would he save someone else's life when he's got his own? Because it's his job. He's the captain of the ship. Okay, we survived a sinking ship. What do we do next? I don't know. JJ, look, our boat's going down. Oh my god, Mikey, we got out of there just in time. I think we should just wait for help. We have no food, no water, no compass. We have nothing. We're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Our chances of survival are slim. Maybe we should get to some island and start surviving there. But where do you see an island around here, Mikey? There's nothing but vast ocean beyond the horizon. Three hours later. I'm so thirsty and hungry, I'm dehydrated. Are we on some kind of island? We should look for people. Mikey, Mikey, wake up. We're on the island. I can't do it alone without you. Wake up already. We have to find people. Huh? What? I fell asleep a little bit. Where are we, JJ? We're on an unknown island. We should explore it and look for food. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go explore the island. Hopefully there's electricity and we can call 911. Oh, Mikey, did you hear that? It's the cry of a sheep. There's a village near here. Yeah, JJ, you're right. It's a village on an island. Yes, the village, Mikey. We're safe. They'll feed us and help us. This is so great. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope they know how to make burgers. I'm pretty hungry for today. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm having some kind of deja vu with this island, though. It's like I've lived here before. All these houses look familiar. Let's go, JJ. Maybe you dreamed it in your sleep. Maybe, but so far I don't see any residents here. Where's everybody gone? Maybe they're hiding from us. I don't want to survive on a desert island. Oh, JJ, look, it's the islanders. Yes, they're women. We should meet them. Girls, look, it's TV Man. He's so handsome. Hey, girls. Oh, my God, look how beautiful he is. Are they sure it's me they're talking about? Of course, you're the only gorgeous one on this island. Give us something to eat and drink. Will you shut up? Don't you see? I'm talking to the handsome man. Yes, don't you dare open your filthy mouth here. And with you, handsome, let's talk more. Oh, you're all so beautiful today. We jumped off a sinking ship and came here. Could you give us some food and water? We haven't eaten anything in a long time. Food? Of course. Come with us, honey. We'll give you anything you ask for. Will you stay with us longer? Of course, girls. JJ, I'm so lucky. They all love me so much. Have a seat here. We'll give you something to eat, dear. We have fresh meat and meat pizza for dinner. We really like to eat meat. Help yourself, my boy. So cool. I'm honored here. That's weird. Why didn't they like me? I'll eat with Mikey then. He's not going to eat all this anyway. But these ladies cook very good food. I've never seen anything like it on the mainland. Eat up, honey. You need to put on weight. You're getting skinny. Hey, what's that green guy's name? 
name is Mikey. Thank you all so much for this delicious food. Oh, he thanked us. What a polite young man. Listen, ladies, we have nowhere to sleep. Could you put us in a house somewhere? Of course. Come sleep with us, Mikey. Nah, we'll give him his own place. He's a guest. He's such a beautiful guest. How nice of you. I didn't expect such hospitality from you. Thank you very much for everything. Anything for you, Mikey. We really like you. You are the best girls in the world. If you get lonely tonight, you can call us. We'll bring more food. Thank you, of course, but we're both so full. You're a delicious cook. Thank you so much. Good night, Mikey. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Thanks for everything. Mikey, let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Oh, they're coming back. Stop, you stupid speaker. You're not allowed to sleep in there. But why can't I sleep there? Because we made your bed somewhere else. Follow us. We'll show you where you belong. Okay, okay, let's go take a look. It's right there. This is where you're gonna sleep. Just what you need. A house made out of newspapers? Are you serious? Put me in a normal house. Yeah, that's a little much for my friend. We don't know anything. All the houses are occupied. Oh, really? Are you suggesting I sleep on the floor? Uh, yeah, sure. Good night again, Mikey. Yeah, good night, Mikey. We should get going. We got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Good night to you all. Thank you again for the whole house. Well, JJ, it's sad that you got a bed on the street, but it's okay. You'll get over it. I don't think they'll listen to me. I gotta go to bed. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He didn't even try to ask them. Friends, have you ever slept on the streets in a tent? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to lay down in this pile of papers. It's a shame the way these girls treat me. I tried to be polite, but they liked Mikey for some reason. All right, girls, let's take this tasty little beauty out back to the fire. We've fed him. It's time for us to taste him. I've already built a fire. Take him over there. Be quiet before he wakes up. Ha ha ha, I hope it will be very tasty. I love to eat people. The next day. Oh my God, my back hurts from those papers, but I'll get over it. Good morning, friends. Did you put a like under this video? By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I can't look at these papers anymore. I gotta go check on Mikey. Maybe he's still asleep. Of course, in a house this comfortable, I'd sleep forever. Mikey, wake up. Let's go for a walk. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Mikey, don't sleep. It's daytime. Get out of the house. Why does it smell like smoke and campfire? Is somebody barbecuing? Oh, there's girls making fire. Oh, hold on. They're burning Mikey. They want to eat him? What? We're on Cannibal Island. Several long days later. It's a nice day, so I decided to go get food at the store because I ran out of food at home. It's a nice day with good weather to go shopping. Just around the corner of this house is one of my favorite grocery stores. Look at that huge sign and the great selection of different products. The best choice in the whole city. Good day. JJ is always happy to see a favorite customer. Have a nice day. You're just in time. Today we have a special offer. For just a small amount of emeralds, you can get a whole bunch of different foods within reason. Wow, a feast of unprecedented bounty. I just picked up a small amount of these emeralds. I need some different meats and vegetables for my meals for tonight. Well, of course, we'll have some fish, meat, and vegetables for you. And a special gift for the best vendor in this town. A big, sweet, and delicious cake that I made the other day because I wanted to make you happy. And you didn't get bored with that tedious job. Wow, I've never gotten such a great gift at this boring job, and it's delicious. This is the best day of my life. Wait a second, I'll get your order. I can't believe I got a cake. Wow, just like that, you can make someone's day so much better. I think making others happy is a good thing, and someday they can do something good for me. And here, I've got the best produce we've ever had. Fish, chicken, apples, and a bunch of other stuff. Wow, how much I was able to get thanks to this wonderful promotion where they gave me a whole bunch of products for my meals. Thank you so much for this delicious cake that I can't wait to try. Good luck and bye. So I got what I came for, and now I'm going home. I'm just a little while away from my big and beautiful house that I recently moved into, and of course I've decided to do some gardening to spruce up my home, but so far everything is just growing. I'm finally home. It's so nice to be in such a cozy place. I have to put the food in the fridge or it will spoil and I won't have anything to cook with. Here, here, and here. Now this food will be safe and won't rot. After such a long walk outside, I have to wash my hands because there are a lot of bacteria that can get on my hands and make me sick? That's how after a hard day like this, it's worth taking a break and watching the news. Breaking news, there's a hurricane of small fire tornadoes coming in the middle of the day. Be careful. Oh no, if a tornado like that came through my house, it would not only rip out my garden, it would set the roof on fire. I'd better see what's going on outside my window. Oh my God, the whole valley's flooded with lava and how am I supposed to survive? Wait, the whole village is flooded and even my favorite store with food, where am I going to buy food? 
food. There is nothing left of the village. It's almost completely under the lava. If I don't figure out how to get out of here, I'll be under the lava soon. I just need to figure something out before this lava rises even higher. I must hurry back and see what I have to build at least a boat so I can get away from here. This is the worst thing that could have happened that day. I usually have a small stock of building materials in my house to improve my house, but now I need them for more important things. It's a good thing I've got some planks of cloth and tools. That's all I need to make a boat and try to go where the lava hasn't gotten to or I'll be stuck without food for a long time. I've got to get higher before the lava gets me. Oh no, I forgot about my collection of cool clothes, but now I can only take these materials to build a boat. And if I don't figure out a quicker way to make a whole ship, these materials are all I have now for survival and I hope they are enough. Of course, I didn't learn how to build a boat, but I don't think it's a hard thing to do in these conditions. It's unbelievable. There's lava all over the place and there's no end in sight. And the news just said there was a tornado. So I think I should start before the lava gets to me. I have to lay out. Well, I need to start building a boat as soon as possible. One hour later. I have finally built the best boat I can think of. It has sails so that I don't have to row the already viscous lava and float on it somehow. He swallowed up everything in the area, including my beautiful house. But I have to leave now, or I will go down with the house. It's the first time I've ever sailed a boat, and it's hard to row lava. It's incredibly hot, but I've got to get out of here while I... S it's so hot and hard. A few moments later... I can't believe that my beautiful and cool boat deteriorated so quickly. And now all that's left of it is a couple boards and sails. Hey, JJ, hurry up and get over here before your boat burns down. We got a whole ship. I'm finally going to get out of this lava madness and be safe. My leftover boat is on fire, but how am I going to get to safety? Wait for JJ. We'll build a bridge to you. Yeah, I'm on my way to save you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right there. Wow. I can't believe I was so lucky to meet them in the middle of a whole ocean of lava and water. More importantly, Importantly, they didn't abandon me and are trying to save me. What good people. I have to try to get out. Come back and wait a little longer, JJ. I'm almost there and we'll go out together. Yes, of course, I'm already looking forward to escaping from this hot lava to a safe place. It's hard to jump over such big chasms after I've swum through a whole ocean of lava. It's finally so nice to be safe and alive. Thank you so much for saving me. Look at what my boat's become. I'd go down with it. Yeah, as soon as we found out your town was flooded with lava, we went looking for you, and we were lucky to find you so quickly. The news of the fire tornado surprised us, but we decided to check it out and came to see you. I'm so happy. Yeah, look at us. We're not too far away on this island. Wow, you have an entire island. So what are we waiting for? I'm so tired after a grueling voyage across a vast ocean of lava. Goodbye, my favorite boat. Hopefully in the future, I will build an even bigger and stronger boat. Yeah, I'm so glad we saved you. Oman, Daddy's waiting for us. Come on, let's go home. I can't wait to get some rest and have a proper dinner. I could eat a dozen steaks and get a good night's sleep after this big adventure. Wow, it's a whole tropical island with an incredibly beautiful beach and with marvelous mountains and a big rainforest. Clear skies. You can sunbathe here every day. Yeah, it's a great place, JJ. Your mom spent a lot of time picking out places for us to live. Wow, there's even a waterfall on this island. I've always wanted to see one. JJ, there's a lot more we can show you. Like the rescue tower your father built in case someone needed help. You can climb it and see the view from there. Okay, now I want to get to the top and see everything on this beach. Wow, it's so high up here. You're so small down here. And it's an incredible view of the whole coast. I tried to build the rescue tower as high as possible so you could see the beauty of the island from it. Yeah, we're glad you liked it. Dad knew you'd be interested in something like this. So you live here? That's funny. It's a real fireman's house. It would be cool to live there since my house is gone. We're sure you'll enjoy living with us, JJ. Like you were ready to take me in beforehand. That's just your imagination. We're really cool. All right, come on. Let's go show me your super duper house. You know, you could live with us as our second son. Second son? Do you already have a child of some kind? Yeah, his name is Mikey. You'll definitely make friends with him. Oh, there he is waiting for me. What a freak. There's no need to insult him. You should be friends with him. Hi, my name is Mikey. Are you my new brother? No, I'm your new daddy. Ha ha ha. Oh my God, your jokes are too stupid. Friends, would you like to live in a family of firefighters? Write about it in the comments. And we're off to settle into our new home. And you can get back to work. Let me give you a tour of our house. We'll start in the hallway. This is where we take off our shoes and welcome our guests. And it's pretty cozy in here. By the way, do you live apart from your parents? Yes, it's much more convenient. By the way, there's an extra bed in here for you. This 
is where you poop. You, it stinks in here. It's awful. I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. And thank you for sheltering me, Mikey. We're brothers now, JJ. We're supposed to help each other. Okay, come on. I'll show you the main house. You're gonna love it. Okay, I hope you have a whole ton of delicious steaks at home. I also want to drink Coca-Cola. JJ, it's all very unhealthy and unpalatable food. You should eat a lot of greens. Ew, it's not cool to eat greens at all. Let me show you our super cool car. A super cool car? I bet it's something small and cheesy. No, it's a giant fire truck. That's what we use to go to work. Wow, now this is already cool. I'd love to ride something like that. It must be so cool to be a fireman and drive such a cool car. Hey, let me drive. I won't crash anywhere. Maybe. No, JJ, you're too young to drive. Maybe in the future you will become a firefighter too, and you will ride in this car. Okay, let's go to our house. Mikey promised to give me a tour of your house. We have to ring the doorbell for them to open it for us. Um, don't you have keys to the house? This is kind of strange. <laughs> JJ is so stupid. This is our home. How fun it is to prank JJ. <laughs> oh my god, it was completely offensive. Stop being offended like a little girl. Wow, and your house is much bigger than Mikey's little house. I would live here much cozier, better, and more enjoyable. You still have a lot of food here. By the way, you have fire detectors hanging on your shelf. It's so safe. And here we cook the healthiest and most delicious food. We need this to help people extinguish their fires at home. That's all I need. I already want to be a firefighter. Let's go put out the fires. You're too small, JJ. I'll say it again. You need to wait and grow up. Now let me show you my garage again. Yes, JJ, be patient. Being a firefighter is not that easy. Okay, okay. Come show me your garage a second time. Wow, this is the same car that I see for the second time. She's no longer interesting to me at all. What other interesting things do you have in your home? Um, we have a second floor where there are many other rooms. Yes, you will definitely like it there. And what might I like there? There is nothing cool or exciting here at all. Wow, as I thought, nothing interesting. The most ordinary second floor. We have a super cool TV here. And what's cool about it? There aren't even cartoons here. There are no colorful or bright clothes in the closet. Because all the clothes are here. We also keep all sorts of cool shoes here. Why do you need this pipe going down? Uh, that's a fire escape right down to the garage. Ah, uh, I don't know how to use it at all. Your pipe is not working at all. This means you will be the worst fireman in the world. Wow, and it's quite nice here. Ha, I would spend my evenings here with a cup of coffee. It's so quiet and safe here. Haven't heard of a lava sea at all. Because we live on a high island. We don't care about such dangers. And why don't you care about this? Because of such dangers, I lost my home. Okay, let's go to your house already. What's in that room? Very interesting, but I think I'll go there a little later. I need to spend enough time coming to terms with my new home. JJ, come here quickly. I'm already tired of waiting here for you. I'm already running, Mikey. Now it seems like it's daytime and it's too early for us to sleep. I don't care. You need to sleep. It's impossible to do anything else on the island. Okay, good night then, Mikey. Good night to you too, JJ. I hope the lava doesn't reach us at night. Oh, how hard it is for me to sleep in a new place. It's already deep night outside, but I can't sleep. Ha ha ha, just look at him. Mikey sleeps so funny, just like his parents. Apparently, I shouldn't talk so loudly here so as not to wake anyone up. I'll take a walk outside to sleep better. This helped me when I lived in my house. How scary it is to be here alone. Friends, aren't you afraid to walk down the street at night? Write about it in the comments. And that strange and forbidden door in that house haunts me. I'm sure there's something cool and interesting hidden there that I'm not allowed to see. I think that no one will notice me if I go there for a short time and then quickly go back to my bed. The firefighter family showed me every corner of this house except this door. Perhaps there is a monster locked in a cage there. Um, is this just an ordinary warehouse? A bunch of uninteresting boxes. There is nothing to do here at all. Oh, what else is this? Fire tornado? Turn it on and off? Oh my god, this is the switch for the tornado that destroyed my house. This means that these firefighters deliberately burned down an entire village along with its inhabitants. But why would they do this? I should turn off this scary and destructive tornado so no one else gets hurt. Although you know, friends, I don't feel bad for the firefighters. After all, now I have a cool home and a loving family. The next day.
I start my day with a game of Minecraft. Playing Minecraft while living in Minecraft. I also watch Spongebob on TV. I would do it all my life. I've started a new game. I need to make a workbench. Whoa, breaking news? Is something wrong? It's usually on when there's an emergency. I should watch it. It's a little scary. Breaking news! Lava rain is expected across our state. Along with the lava rain, there will be a lava tornado. Everyone take shelter now. I say again, take cover. It's life-threatening to stay inside or outside. Bunkers, basements, and sewers are good for shelter. Start looking for cover immediately, otherwise you'll die. Oh my god, what's going on? A lava rain with a lava tornado? I've never seen anything like this before. Looks like the weather is already starting to turn bad. We have to find shelter. I have an old bunker in mind, but I gotta get Mikey there. I don't think he'll have any shelter with his poor house. I need to get him on the phone right away and pick him up before his house burns down from the lava. What a horror. This place is going to burn down. I've got to hurry. It's nice to live without a job. No responsibilities. You just sit back and enjoy yourself. Urgent activation. Everyone, listen up for an emergency alert. It'll save your life. Listen up. What's that? My radio? It will be raining lava all over the state in the near future. After the rain, there will be a lava tornado. Everybody take cover. Find a bunker or a basement. Lava rain? With a tornado? What kind of stupid joke is that? If that's true, my house would burn down in seconds from a thatched roof. I gotta do something. Oh, is someone on the phone for me? Maybe it's some kind of lava rain joke again. But I have to take this. This is all very strange. Hi, who's calling me? Mikey. Hey, it's JJ. Have you heard the emergency? alert yet? Hey, JJ. Yeah, I heard it on the radio. So you know everything. I'm taking you to my bunker. Get ready. I'm coming for you soon. So it's true. Okay, thank you. I'll get my stuff. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye, Mikey. Friends, have you ever seen a tornado? I wouldn't want to be inside one. Write about it in the comments. And I have to go to Mikey's right now. Oh, I think it'll take me too long to walk. I don't want to get wet. It's a good thing I have a red Ferrari. It'll get me to Mikey's house in no time. Okay, let's go. It would be bad if I got caught in the lava rain on the way. I don't think the roof of a Ferrari can withstand lava. I wonder what would happen if I threw my Ferrari into the hot lava. Would it melt? I'll have to do an experiment. And there's Mikey's house. He still hasn't gotten a job or moved out of this poor and scary house. We have to hurry to the bunker. This rain is starting to get warmer and warmer. It's gonna be lava soon. I wonder how long a person will live if he is thrown into lava. All right, Mikey, open up. I'm here, where he's got the bell. Mikey, come out. We don't have much time. Hurry up. Mikey, soon lava will pour from the sky. Come out. Here I am. Hey, JJ, I've been packing up my stuff. Two suitcases full. What's in your suitcase? Oh, I have all my toys in there. I really need them. Mikey, are you crazy? Toys aren't necessary for survival. No, JJ, I need them. I calm down by playing with them. I can't live without them. I don't have any other things. Okay, whatever. Let's put them in my trunk. Okay, thank you very much, JJ. Actually, I thought it was a lava rain joke. But after you called, I realized it was serious. Thanks for inviting me to your bunker. You're my friend, Mikey. I have to save you. Oh, that's great. Can I drive? I've never ridden in a car like this before. No, that's my car. You can't even drive. Okay, whatever. Oh, my God. Guys, what would you take with you to the bunker? Not toys, I hope. Write about it in the comments. Let's go. JJ, I think I left a couple toys at my house. We should go back and get them. It's very important. No, Mikey. We don't have time for your toys. There's lava coming out of the sky any second, and all you talk about is toys. Okay, okay. You're being so strict today. How did you know about the bunker? My dad built it. He was afraid the Skibidi toilets would look for him. It's his secret base. We're already close to that bunker. That's cool. It's a long way away. That's it, Mikey. We're here. JJ, but there's nothing here. Just an abandoned van. Maybe you forgot where the bunker is. No, Mikey. The bunker is very well camouflaged, so it won't be found by the Skibidi toilets. It's not that easy, Mikey. The bunker is located behind this van. All we have to do is pull this lever and the door inside the bunker will open. Wow, that's cool. Come on, open the bunker already. Okay, it's gonna take a while. See? The van's pulling away. It serves as a door. It's so discreet. Unbelievable. Your dad must have been really cool. And behind this hatch is the bunker where we'll wait out the lava rain. It's safe there. We're definitely staying alive, Mikey. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, go get your bags and let's go inside. Yes, of course. My toys are very important. I can't go a day without them. Yeah, go ahead and get in. Nah, JJ, you go first. All right, whatever. Close the top hatch behind you. The last time I was here was when my dad showed me this bunker when I was a kid. Okay, I'm down. Where do we go from here, JJ? Move on through that door. There are lots of rooms, a ventilation system, lots of food. It's like an apartment. So much space. Where's my room? Your room? You can stay in this one. You can make yourself comfortable. We're here for the long haul. Oh, cool. I'm 
I've always wanted to live underground. JJ, it's so nice here. Even better than my last house. My roof leaked all the time because of the thatch. Thank you again for taking care of me. Mikey, you're my friend. Friends are supposed to help each other out. And the bed is so soft. JJ, you're the best friend I've ever had. Yeah, I know. Okay, Mikey, I'm gonna go to my room. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. Oh, he seemed to like it here. I'm happy for him. It's time for me to show you my room. I've got lockers, a TV, and a bed. Everything I need. How would you guys like to live underground in a bunker? It's so cozy, you know? Write about it in the comments. six days later. Viewers, I have exciting news. I heard on TV that the tornado is over. I have to tell Mikey about it right now. It's been a while. I wonder what he's doing now. Hey, Mikey, it's JJ. Open the door. Come on in. Okay, I'm going in. Mikey, did you, you hear that? You are such a cool and beautiful pony. I love you so much. Uh. Oh, JJ. Mikey, really? Well. You're playing with the ponies now that there's a tornado? Yeah, well, I can have a lot of fun here in the bunker. Oh. Would you like to try to play together? Yes, but later. Yay. They're saying on TV that the fire tornado is over. What? We can go outside. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Let's go. Oh, hmm. I think my pink pony can wait. Hmm. So let's go see what's going on outside. I wonder if our houses survived. Hmm. Interesting interesting. Mikey, why don't we not go? I'm a little scared. Don't worry, you have me, and I'm not afraid of anything. Let's go. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. I'll be as brave as you. I can't hear the sound of the wind. And I see clear blue skies. That's great news. Oh, didn't you leave the car outside? Oh, yeah. Are you sure the car's okay? Yeah, it's great. JJ, look at how great the weather is today. Yeah, it's perfect. I didn't even expect this to be possible after the tornado. Yeah, Mikey, it's like a miracle. Your car is fine. I'm glad it all turned out okay. I'm excited, too. Let's go to our houses. Yeah, it's time to go. I hope our houses weren't too badly damaged. Otherwise, it's a bummer. JJ, why is your car so slow? Uh, Let's speed up. Mikey, this car has been sitting idle for a little over a week. And? <laughs> that doesn't justify your car in any way. Understandably, it will be slow at first. Okay, let's not argue about it. Uh, Mikey, where's your house? <gasps> that pile of dirt doesn't look like your house at all. No way! Oh my god. Mikey, I'm so sorry this happened to your house. I can only imagine how hard it must be. Thank you, JJ. It's really awful. All the memories, things, gone. I understand. JJ, how could you do this? Oh! My house is completely destroyed. You and I are friends, and I'm always here to help. What am I supposed to do? Maybe you could move in with me while your house is being fixed. What? A disaster. We'll find a solution together. You're such a true friend, JJ. Hmm. Thanks for the offer. What's the bottom line? So I'm in. All right, let's get in the car. I would really have to find a temporary place to live. That's right. It's nice to have a friend like me. Yeah, it'd be hard without you. You too, Mikey. Let's hurry up and get to my house. JJ, I was thinking, what if your house is destroyed too? Well, it just can't be. Wait, why? My home is made of durable okay, materials. Okay. Holy turtles, JJ. Well, no, it just couldn't happen. I don't believe it. How could it? Oh my God, JJ. It's kind of crazy. My house is gone, too. Wow. It's a piece of burnt pie, not a house. JJ, are you okay? Mikey, my house, it burned down, and I don't know what to do. Everything I had. Maybe there's something still intact in there. Are you kidding me? No, I'm trying to think positive. You see the state of my house. Hmm. Where are we going to live now? Well... Oh, my God. My belongings, my comfort, my kitchen, all gone. I got nothing now, Mikey. Oh, hmm. Everything I had is on fire now. My house burned down, and your house burned down. What could be worse? No, Mikey, it can't get any worse than this. Well... Look where my pool is. This place is such a mess. But I don't even realize where your pool was. It was not far from the kitchen. Oh, hmm. And the kitchen isn't in the best condition right now either. It's all incredibly sad. Mikey, I don't know what to do now. I have an idea. What, you got an idea? How about we sell your car and buy a house together? Mikey, that sounds like a good plan. We can get through this together like real friends. We're always together, and that would be great. Then let's talk about what kind of house we'd like. Yeah. Do you prefer red or green? Red, of course. Ooh. After all, we already have a red Ferrari. That would be perfect. But we're going to sell it. Maybe a greenhouse then. All right, we'll figure something out. Out. Yay! So, Mikey, how would you rate our house? Oh, hmm. Isn't that cool? JJ, our house is absolutely stunning. Yeah. That green and red color scheme is exactly what we like. Yeah, Mikey, the house came out just perfect. Let's hurry up and get inside. Hurry up, hurry up. I can't wait to look around the house. So open the doors. <gasps> look at this hallway. Just a minute. I'll close the door. Wow. Oh, my God. This looks so gorgeous. I never thought we would have such a beautiful dining room. Oh. And this kitchen is a dream come true. Cool. I'm thrilled. We can cook so many things here. Let's move on. Yeah, let's see what else is here. Wow, this is the living room with the TV. Whoa, Mikey, we're gonna play. JJ, it's been a dream of mine to get a TV. There's a video game console. We're gonna play together. I saw there was a staircase to the second floor. 
floor. Yes, and as I recall, that's where our private rooms are. Is my room green? Yes, of course, just the way you like it. <laughs> it would be weird otherwise. Oh, hmm. Huh. Mikey, are you expecting someone? No, I'm not expecting anyone. Uh, who's there? Hello? Hey! I'm with the insurance company. Hello! I'm here to pay you compensation for your broken home, Mr. JJ. Wow, compensation? I'm surprised those amounts exist, but here are your diamonds. Oh my gosh, I even forgot I had my house covered by insurance already. Awesome! Wow! Thank you so much. You have been a great help to us. There, that's your eight stacks of diamonds. Oh! And don't thank me, it's my job. Cool! Have a nice day. Thank you, and you have a good day too. Goodbye. JJ, who was that? It's the insurance guy. Cool, you had money for insurance. Mikey, we're on equal footing now, so I'll give you half of all my diamonds. <gasps> JJ, I'm so glad you appreciate me so much. You're welcome, Mikey. Thank you so much for treating me like this. Mikey, you're my friend. Of course I appreciate you. I'm very happy to be able to live with you in such a big house without worrying about money. Yeah. Oh, Mikey, where are you going? JJ, let's go back to the bunker. I want to get my toys. Oh, well, we'll do that. Later. My brother Mikey, he always wakes up later than everyone else. Oh, that sleepyhead's ready to sleep till lunchtime. How could he be? Mikey, wake up. Hmm. You sleep like a bear. You can't be woken up. Wake up. Oh, JJ, good morning. Good morning. I dreamed you were a big dinosaur. That was funny. Mikey, look how long you've been asleep. Well, it's been a morning long ago. Come on, JJ. Sleep is the most important thing in my life. Uh, what do you think we're going to do this weekend? We just have to go to an amusement park or bowling alley. Oh, I'm interested. Or we can play in our cool room. Yeah. I'd also go for a walk in the park. Yes, it's the right weather for it. Hey, kids. Hey. Hi. Hey. We have amazing news for you both. This news applies to this weekend. Yes, the two of you are going to visit your grandmother this weekend. Yay. So that settles it, what we're doing this weekend. Uh, are you sure we're going to be interested? Of course, huh? Hmm. You definitely won't get bored in the countryside. That's right. All right, then. When do we go there? Right now. Oh! Time to pack your bags, JJ. Huh, yeah. Well, if you're ready, let's go to the garage. Uh, okay. Our car is waiting for us. We're already fully prepared. Mikey, do we have to bring something with us? No, our parents said we'd be entertained, so I think we can go light. Well, I'd still take the ball to play there, though. JJ, Grandma has tons of fun stuff to keep you busy. Does she really have her own amusement park? Of course not, but there's something else in there. Yes. Hmm. For example, an entertaining vegetable garden. Ooh, that sounds interesting. They're so naive. Hey. Dad was just kidding. Uh, okay. Come on, get in the car and let's hit the road to Grandma's. Okay, so you ready, Mikey? Yes, I can't wait to see what conditions Grandma is living in. I can't wait, too. Maybe we'll live in a huge mansion. Let's go and find out. Oh, I feel like we're going to have a cool time there. Kids, it's time to go. JJ, you sit down and I'll follow let's you. Let's go. Mommy, please tell me about Grandma. Tell you what exactly? Uh, oh, I want to know how old she is. Huh. Mikey, decent boys don't ask women questions like that, okay? Wait, why? Well, your grandmother lives far, far away in the country. How far? It'll take us a couple hours to get there. Oh, no. I don't want to drive that long. By the way, hmm. are you going to tell them about her past? Oh, I'd love to know about that. Okay, okay. She was the head of one secret group. <gasps> really? Uh, no. But mommy, then why does our grandmother live so far away? Well... Your grandmother, uh, needed a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. Wow, she's so sensitive. That's for sure. Wow. But you don't have to worry. She'll be happy to have you pestering her. Oh! Yes, she's very much looking forward to you both. Two hours later. Daddy, when are we gonna get there? I have to pee. Oh my god, kids, we're here. Just be patient. Wow, we're already there. Cool. Oh, finally some country fresh air. Yeah, I forgot it was so fresh in here. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's agree that you both stay close to your grandmother, okay? Yes, Dad. Mikey, you got it? Yes, Mom. Now that you've got it all figured out, great. Cool. Let's introduce you both to your grandmother. Uh, it doesn't look like a mansion, more like a barn. Are you really saying we're going to live it's here? It's boring in here. Exactly. Honey, look, hmm. I think spending time here will be good for our kids. Yep. I don't think so. Come on, JJ. Uh, Mrs. TV Grandma, uh, this is the TV Woman family. We're here to I visit. I wonder what she looks like. Hmm. Maybe she looks even cooler than our mom. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, hmm. Oh, who am I seeing and hearing? Uh, it's my dear relatives. Hello. Hi, Grandma. My name is JJ. Nice to meet you, Pi. And my name is Mikey, not Pi. And hello to you too, Straw. Huh, hello, Straw. Oh, 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 it's been so long since you've been to my place. And I'm not at all prepared for your visit. Don't worry, Mom. How can I not worry? You know that... Uh, we'll be on our best behavior. Yes, that's right. Oh, what golden children. <laughs> well, let them stay with me. Kids, well, help your grandmother. Okay, Mom. And try to have a fun time. I'll miss you. We'll miss you guys, too. Take care of yourselves. Okay, okay. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mommy. Bye-bye. Hope to see you again soon. Don't worry. Your parents will go out and come back. I hope they come back soon. Grandma, what are we going to do? Yeah, what can we do for you? Oh, it's not that hard, guys. Oh, hmm. Huh. Like picking potatoes. Cleaning the house, fetching water, milking the cow. You've got a lot to do here. Huh, a little pie. 
This is your common room, by the way. Uh, that door leading to the attic? Yeah, well, you're not going to sleep on the same couch with me. Hmm. Well, if you wanted to. No, Grandma, thanks for caring. Rest up. Call me if you need anything. Uh, okay. Our Grandma is so funny. Mikey, what makes you think that? Well, because she talks so funny. Hmm. Hmm. And she also lives here all alone. Uh, but she built herself such a house and a huge vegetable garden. Listen, hmm, you're right. Cool. But enough about this sea of potatoes. Let's go see our room. Yes, I really hope there will be spiders in there. Mikey, stairs to the left. I know, JJ. Oh. Just wanted to see what our grandmother was up to. Hmm. Shall we go upstairs? Mikey, sometimes your logic boggles my mind. What can I say to that? Uh, Watch my mouth. Wait, why? Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the room. Hmm, sometimes you're very strange. JJ, just because I like spiders doesn't mean I'm weird. Here we go again. How does that even apply to what I'm saying? Let's just get in the room. Uh, okay. Oh, and things are looking, uh, pretty good here. Yeah, I thought there would be a lot less room. Yeah, I thought so, too. But it's pretty good here. Look! Wow, is our grandmother a witch? I don't know, hmm. but there are a lot of potions here. Yeah! I'll have to ask her about it later. I agree. Now, check out these great beds. Hmm, are they really so much softer than they look? Yay! Okay, wow, it's really soft and bouncy. Yes, you can feel every spring under your feet. Yeah! You know, JJ, I like it here. Oh, really? Yes, it's fresh air, lots of things to hmm. do. And lots of mysterious things. Yeah! I like all those potions. Isn't that interesting? Interesting. Then we should explore a... Uh... Oh, I'm already a little hungry. But first we should have lunch. Yeah. Let's go ask our grandmother what we're going to eat. Yeah, she'll probably feed us pies and all sorts of vegetables, won't she? Oh, vegetables. Well, yeah, but it's delicious. Okay, I agree. When I'm hungry, I'll eat more than that. Huh, that's for sure. Come quickly, I'm starving. Really? Yeah, I only ate my morning breakfast. Can you believe it? Wow, you didn't eat hot dogs at the gas station with us, really? Yeah, but that's not what this is about. We need to somehow gently, unobtrusively ask Grandma for food, okay? Grandma, I'm hungry. What? My stomach's rumbling like a tractor. JJ, stop. I'm telling you to ask nicely. Uh, okay. Give us some food, please. Hmm, JJ, you're quite the negotiator. And what does that mean? Oh, my dears, are you hungry? We called you to ask you for food for us. Oh, yeah, I'm incredibly hungry, Grandma. Well, if that's the case, go to that potato field and dig it up for me. Wait, what? Nothing complicated. Dig up all the rows of potatoes and save the leftover potatoes to eat. Oh! Grandma, do we have to dig up the whole field? Of course. You don't want me, the old TV grandma. To break my back, do you? Uh, well, yeah. And potatoes spoil if you don't dig them up. Oh, hmm. You are young and strong. Yeah. You will do well. Good luck. Uh, well, Mikey... Don't say anything else. Do you have any idea how much digging we have to do? I guess we're going to have to help our grandma. That's true. But did you even see that this field doesn't end here but continues over there? Oh! Three hours later. We did it, Mikey. Yay. We managed to dig up this whole field of potatoes. My hands hurt, JJ, and I'm hungrier than ever. I don't even want to remember how we dug around here. My hands hurt from that, too. Let's ask Grandma if she can bake us these potatoes. Yeah. Because I don't want to eat those potatoes raw. Yeah, I don't want to eat it raw either. Ew. And it's not even remotely healthy. That's right. Who said vegetables are healthy anyway? Hmm. My hands hurt, and that's not healthy. Grandma, we picked potatoes. Can you bake them for us? Yes, we ask you very much. Wow, you've both totally made it already. Well done. Yes, we did our best. Look at that clear field. Here, take all these potatoes, Grandma. They're yours. Here's another one of your shovels. You guys are so good. Yay. Well, now that you've worked hard on the field, we should get a drink, right? Uh, Here, take this bucket and milk my cow, Betty. Oh, my God. She's a gentle cow, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, Mikey? Okay, Grandma, we'll do it, but what about the food? Yes, we're hungry. Kids are voracious. Oh, uh, what? They just ate and they want it again. Wow. Stop. What? Milk the cow and then I'll feed you. Oh, my God. It's not right at all. Yeah. We haven't eaten anything and you're making us work. She also said we eat a lot, but we haven't eaten a crumb. I don't like it so much, JJ. Let's do it. <gasps> yeah, you're right, JJ. No need to get discouraged. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, are you going to that barn? Yes, I think that's where the cow lives. Hmm. Well, yeah, it looks like it. Let's do it quietly and carefully. Animals don't like noise. Uh, okay. What's her name? Uh, Betty. Oh, that's right, Betty girl. Don't be afraid of us. I don't think she understands you. Oh, she's a lot calmer than I. I thought. Hmm, you're trying so hard, Mikey. Betty girl, we'll just take some milk from you. Calm down, Betty. So what is there to pull from? No, wait. We just wanted your milk. JJ, let's get out of here. Oh. Ah. No. Ah. The next day. Good morning. Wow, I slept great and ate well this morning. Yes, I thought that I would sleep poorly, but I just fell asleep. It's already morning. Yay. What 
is that? A what? JJ, there's a double stroller in there. She didn't mean to say that this was for us. Kids, good morning. Come to me. Let's take a walk together. But I don't want... JJ, you're not going to ruin an old woman's wishes, are you? Yes, you're right. Let's go. Grandma. Hello again. Did you sleep well, my dear? Yeah, no bad. You want to go for a walk together? Yes, we want. Well, then get in the stroller and let's go. Oh, my God. Come on, don't be shy. Huh, you first, Mikey. No problem, JJ. Huh. And I'm doing this for our grandmother, okay? Huh, yeah. You'll be riding next to me, too, so stop laughing. Okay, Mikey, but this just looks ridiculous. Ridiculously funny. You're 10 years old, Mikey, and you're in a stroller. Oh, hmm. I'm doing this just for you, Grandma. Let's go. Well. Very convenient. Well, kids, let's hit the road. Okay, okay. Well, while we go, your grandmother will tell you a couple of stories. Wow, stories. Old stories, cool. Yes. Once upon a time, there was no village here, but a huge sea. Wow. And it was not simple creatures that lived in this sea, but mermaids. Oh. But also... There were evil sea monsters who constantly destroyed the mermaid cities. Oh, my God. Five minutes later. And after your grandfather saved that place, the mermaids built our village. Wow, how cool. Yes, and everyone lived a long time. And, um, I completely forgot about my happy series. Oh, my God. Grandma. If I miss one episode and don't find out who's behind it all, I won't be able to sleep. Wow. Um, what should we do, JJ? I don't know. I had no idea that our grandmother who tells such cool stories was so forgetful. Yes, this is quite, um, interesting. Really? But this train sound bothers me a little. Ooh, I hear that too. Um, Mikey, where are we standing now? I'm afraid to imagine. I cannot get up. I can't get up either. I'm out of ideas, JJ. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, what just happened? Something threw us such a distance from the railway tracks. Mikey? Wow, we were thrown out of the stroller. Mikey, wake up! Holy turtles! JJ! Are you okay, Mikey? Okay, JJ. Are you in any pain? Hmm, mm, no. We just fell in a bad way. Yes, we were thrown back a lot, JJ. Yeah. But you know what? I'm still very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry too. Ooh, look there! This is exactly what I see and not my imagination. JJ, that's a huge piece of meat. Oh my god. JJ, I give this opportunity to you. Really? Bon appetit! Oh, I've been waiting for this for two days. Tasty! Real meat, wow. This is the best thing you could eat here. This is true. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you. Did you like Grandma's story? Write your answers in the comments. It was interesting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everybody had a hard year. Nobody got their pay. What a time for the lonely ones. Thought every dog had its day. What a time for the wicked.